coming uh, to Odishi tonight for our lecture series. I think it's number 11, Fiano, the great uh, variety of Campania and Sicily. The white wines tonight are truly, truly, truly amazing, and they're authentically Italian. Uh, in 1940, the Master Bernardino Winery uh, had this field blend. It was a white field blend. It was like a farmhouse blend. And the father, Antonio, took a liking to this one specific varietal, the Fiano, and this other uh, varietal, Greco de Tufo. And he decided to take those individually and try to harvest them on their own. And in or about 1950, he produced his first vintage of Greco de Tufo and his first vintage of Fiano de Avellino in Campania. So this is in the 1950s, so we're only you know, 59 years away from that. So they've come a long way, and uh, the two premier producers of Fiano in Campania are Master Berardino and Fiudi de San Gregorio. And what's inter interesting about tonight's tasting is during the second course, you're going to have these two Fianos side by side. One is very kind of old style, the Master Berardino. Old style, very traditional, and the Fiuti has a little bit of a modern edge to it. And there's subtle differences, they're five miles apart. The first one is the Mandarosa Fiano from Sicily, and John Piero is just going to give us a few words about that. This producer, uh, Mandarosa, is actually a line of uh, Settesoli, which is the largest of the, uh, the cup radios in Europe. Now, De Fiano Bellino uh, is actually you know, very fruity. You have Pineapple, you have a little bit of honey, you have a hint of uh, um, hint of like melon. And in this case, you know, we're not in Sicily, we're in Campania, we're in the middle of the mountains. You have to consider we are 50 miles inland from Naples, so it's a cold climate. As always, uh, my mentor and one of the foremost experts on Italian wines, culture, food, and history, the one and only Anthony Verdone. There's a certain technique to tasting the wine, so if you think of the letter S, and I'll go through it, you can analyze a wine just the way the professionals do. You see a wine, it's the first S, you should look at a wine like against a white color. Okay, then after you see it, you swirl it, and when you swirl it, a lot of flavors come out for you to smell. You put your nose right in the glass and you sniff it. So you've seen it, you swirled it, you sniff it now, and then you sip it, and when you sip it, you swirl it around in your mouth, you sort of suck it around, get a little air in there, see where it strikes you. Sipping, sipping, not gulping. We can, we can well, after about three wines, we won't go. A writer, Pliny, observed that bees, bees, buzzing bees, liked the characteristics of the grape. They would hover around the grapes. So he called it the Vita Sapianum, which means the vine of the bees. And then, through history, Appiano became Appiano, Appiano became Affiano, and finally today it's called the Fiano. It means the great variety of the bees. And now we'll go to Sicily, and we'll hear about Planeta Comet. The, uh, the Planeta Winery is actually owned by uh, the daughter of Diego Planeta and by his, uh, his nephew. Uh, came up with a line of wines that would actually claim international attention over Sicily. And Planeta is really the winery that really put Sicily back on the map. But again, this wine, if you tasted the wine, it's really like a, you know, really, you know, deeply extracted. You can see all the uh, all the flavors that we've been talking about over and over again. Pineapple and honey and uh, cantaloupe. And, uh, you know, really flourishing this wine. Okay, uh, we're going to... Finish off with something very special. It's a very small production, uh, excellent dessert wine. Fiano is harvested usually pretty late. When they make this wine, they leave it on the vines even longer, to the point where they risk uh, not being able to make any wine because if cold weather comes in and the frost hits, you know, could really destroy the grapes. What I like most about this, and I'll hand it over to John Piero, is that with a dessert wine, if it's too sweet and the finish is sweet, you, you 
feel like you need a dentist appointment. One little sip, and that's it. But if the wine has that crisp acidity to balance the sweetness, then you can even have a second glass and you can appreciate the sweetness of the wine. Let me tell you something about the package too, because you know the, this winery has been like a very attentive to details. The package was actually designed by Massimo Vignelli. The reason I say that is that Massimo Vignelli is the guy who designed all the subway maps in New York City in the 1970s. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you all again. Hope you enjoyed your evening.